So we've just received word that despite appearing in the latest trailer for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Vincent Valentine, my favourite character personally from the original game, will not be playable in the upcoming adventure. No! Welcome back to the channel folks, my name is Simon, big Final Fantasy VII fan here, and if you share my passion, please do consider sticking around by subscribing. I have heaps of content coming your way, up to the release and beyond the release of Rebirth. So we have just had another information dump for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and something that kind of snuck under the radar with this was that despite appearing in the latest trailer, Vincent Valentine is not going to be a playable character in Rebirth, but rather he is going to be a guest party member in the same way that Red 13 was a guest party member towards the end of Remake. So this comes to us from IGN when they interviewed a few staff members working on Remake and Naoki Hamaguchi confirms for us that Vincent will not be a playable character, but will indeed be accompanying the party in terms of um, a guest party member. So, yep, similar to how Red 13 was in Remake. So, yes, I'm a little bit disappointed by that, but I suppose I'm not too surprised because in the original Final Fantasy VII, Vincent was an optional party member. You did not have to recruit him at all, but if you did choose to recruit him, you could do so anyway from, I want to say, about two-thirds of the way through the game's first disc. And remember, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to be finishing at the Forgotten Capital, which is the ending part of the first disc in the original game. Presumably, he is going to be fully playable going into part three of this trilogy. Hopefully, even as a guest party member, we will still get to see Vincent in action, transforming into his beast forms, which are his iconic ability from the original FF7 and would look absolutely spectacular if they get it right here in Rebirth. But the other thing as well, moving away from Vincent, something I haven't seen people speaking of is what is happening with Sid, Sid Highwind. We've not heard anything about him. Now, if they are following sequences roughly as they occurred in the original game, I know things may be a little bit out of order. We should expect to have Sid in the party before we reach the Forgotten Capital. But alas, I've not seen Sid in any of the promotional materials, so maybe I just missed something. But it does seem like Sid is going to be held back until the third game as well in the trilogy. So maybe that's because they still wanted to introduce new party members in the third entry and didn't want you know everybody introduced in part two here, which is probably why they've gone this route as well of not having Vincent as a playable character. But I'm still happy we get to experience Vincent's story and his awakening from the Shinra Mansion basement, a very iconic moment in my opinion from Final Fantasy VII. So being able to experience that in all its glorious HD remake-ness is something I'm terribly excited about if I'm honest with you. But folks, please do let me know your thoughts. How do you react to the fact that Vincent is not going to be a playable party member in Rebirth. Is that something you expected or are you disappointed? Thank you so much for checking out the video today. As always, I will be back with you for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth updates going forward. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.